Today I want to talk about one big misconception about enlightenment, and that is that enlightenment can give you mental certainty. Enlightenment is certainty about who you really are. But the mind is something which, by its very nature, divides and doubts. As soon as you divide things, you're in the realm of uncertainty. Because how should they be divided? How should they be named? How should they interact, these ideas and these pieces that we've created? So there's this realm of the mind and of duality and of division. And in that realm, doubt continues. Doubt persists. Enlightenment is the realization of a realm that runs in and through and around that realm of the mind that the mind cannot access directly. Its only contribution is to fall silent. It knows something's happening. It knows by its sense of reverence, its sense of awe, that there is something more, but it can never quite know what that is. And so that falling silent, without ever being able to know in the mental way, is what we call faith. So faith is not really opposed to knowledge, because there is knowledge, there is certain knowledge, it's simply not mental knowledge. There is another form of knowledge, which is beyond the mind, and which is right here, and at which we aim. And for that knowledge to be apparent, the mind must fall silent.